Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is one of the biggest days of a brand new Ultimate Team, especially EAFC 24. Today, it is finally time to start our Ultimate Teams on the web app today with the worldwide release of the web app it's a big day we're all going to be able to get our ultimate teams today of course you may have seen me on stream yesterday i am of course already on the game shout out to the ea creator network for hooking this up and making this possible it is amazing to be on the game there's so much that i have to show you guys today that is amazing inside of this game really insane objective content via the evolutions that we have to talk about and some crazy champs reward changes as well so a lot to cover there but of course i want to get you guys hooked up and ready for the web app today because this web app is going to be completely different than we thought it was guys there are no welcome backpacks it's going to be tough to get coins it's going to be a grind but there's a method that i think is possible to get you ahead of a lot of other people in this game that are just going to see the grind for the web app today and be like nah man it's not worth it but i want to talk to you guys through some things where you could actually make some decent coins today all right so if you're enjoying the videos on the channel if you're excited for fc24 drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new so let's talk web app right because that is the big news that is what's coming today it opens today it should be around 6 p.m content time the normal content time is usually when we see the web app launch again confirmed on ea's website everybody's getting on the web app today that has a web app access so make sure you're looking out for that this is famously the day where f5 buttons get worn out because everybody's f5ing and spamming and refreshing the page waiting for it to open but around 6 p.m maybe a little bit after that that's when everybody should be able to log in now once you log in this is what you're gonna see and this is me from earlier in the day yesterday right here you're going to see this pack. It's the FC Founder Rewards pack that was in those pitch notes that we talked about, right? No tradable cards inside of this, right? After you pick your starter nation, and we'll talk about that. There's big details with that in a second. But this is the only pack that we get, guys. And I opened this pack yesterday. It's just TIFOs, and that is it. Maybe there's like a loan pack as a part of it as well. But there's no welcome backpacks. Our nightmare has become true, and it's going to be difficult to get some coins. But before you're like, nah, man, the web app's not worth it. Let me talk you through a couple things. Now, first, as you see, when I am loading in to my ultimate team for the first time, I go with my stutter nation, which I picked uh, Germany, actually. And then after that, you go to your team. But from there, then you have the opportunity to choose your kits. I chose the England kit, and then I chose the PSG kit. Guys, like we talked about in the preparation for the web app, this is huge for your success today and tomorrow on this game before Friday. Make sure you pick the biggest nation, the biggest club. You want to get gold kits and uh, your badge for your club. You want gold ones, guys, because if you pick anything else, um, you're going to get less coins because we're going to be quick selling these items. So the English badge, the PSG kit, and the England kit. You're like, Nate, doesn't the PSG kit sell? I've had the PSG kit listed for about six or seven hours now on the market as the only one, and it has not sold yet. So yes, maybe you might be able to sell a couple of those things because I have had like one or two things sell, uh, like the Muchen Gladbach badge. I sold for 500 coins, right? And I've had a couple other small sales on players, but for that very first first beginning stage I would just quick sell this stuff guys that's how you're going to be ahead of a lot of people today a lot of people are going to open this they're going to get their starter team get their loan player and they're going to be like well I have no packs so what do I do right or they have this pack the, the founder stuff and they're like well what else do I do this is what you're going to do guys you're going to go into your club which on the web app it's just going to be on the club spot as it always is club items into your stadium and you are going to quick sell those kits and that badge in the club part right you're going to go in here and you're going to quick sell it get it gone and get coins right away that's going to give you about 1500 or 1700 coins and then from there is where it gets interesting because with 1500 coins you're like well i could go out and i could trade a little bit on the market i really can't buy too many players because i mean guys if you look at the market right now without a lot of supply it's dead man like there are like it's like one page these are all the bronze cards that are on the market right we're looking to trade with bronzes not right now silver cards uh there's one anthony along is the only silver card on the market right now that's it it is crazy rare out here there is like no supply it is the exact opposite of what we thought it was going to be but after you quick sell those badges and kits what you're going to do and shout out to squidward 
on Twitter, what a username, Squidward EAFC Trader on Twitter. He has a really good method here explaining this, and I will leave a link to this tweet down below in the description if you want to see it. We were talking about this type of thing on stream, but he's got it perfectly here. I'm going to give him some credit for it. So what you're going to do after you quick sell those cards, you're going to have about 1.5K, 1.7 thousand coins. And the next place you're going to go is objectives, guys, because in these objectives, there are opportunities for you to get more coins just by doing simple things. Yes, instead of opening packs like would be a lot more fun with welcome backpacks, we are resulting to things like this. Buying players off of the market, you get a uh, 100 coin boost for doing that. In the milestones tab on transfer market mastery, this is where you get good coins, guys. 1500 coins for listing 50 players in the market. Like, Nate, how am I going to get 50 players if I'm not getting tradable packs how am i going to be able to do this well there's a way to do it to get tradable cards pretty easy from the store from our favorite pack method bpm bpm guys yes they have the 750 coin bronze packs in the store and i believe out of these sometimes you get three players sometimes you get four sometimes you get five but you're going to get 12 items in total including players and consumables and what he's saying here in this method is if you open those two bronze packs for 750 coins each you're basically going to have zero coins left right you've exhausted your 1.5k on these packs but you're going to have all 24 items which you can now list up on the market one hour each to complete those objectives that we just looked at right listing players on the market you get a coin boost for that in the milestones tab list 50 players you get 1500 coins that's the one you're trying to get Right, so you're trying to list players as many times as you possibly can, um, which technically I don't know if all the consumables that are inside of a bronze pack count. I'll open one right now for the bands. Why not? I don't know if the consumables count for the listings of this. It might only be the players. Um, I didn't check to see how many listings I had. My objectives are kind of already going as well. Like I got three bronzes right there. I'd have to relist those cards like 12 times to get to 50, and then and then some. Right, so. That doesn't seem super worth it, but if you can relist all of this stuff up on the market and just list it for 5k so that it doesn't sell so that you can relist it again, then technically you would think, okay, I would be able to, uh, wow, 100 coin boost, nice. I would be able to get that objective completed. And that's kind of like the goal by doing this method and opening those bronze packs. I think that's one of the best ways to go about it, guys, because you do get multiple players and then you can start listing those players to get these certain objectives done. And then you get more coins, right? The whole point is to list up the players as many times as you can to get those objectives completed. And then you might have around 3.5 or 5K, depending on the players that you got and, and stuff like that. And then you have a lot more coins to work with and you can get on the market and potentially start doing some SBCs or starting to trade. Now, if you don't want to risk it with the bronze packs or maybe you just want to open one, I think that's a fine way to do it as well. Or if you're just like, Nate, I'm going to quick sell my um, gold um, badge and kit and then I'm going to go straight to the market. I would tell you if you're going to go straight to the market, which is definitely a fine move. Look at bronze cards because people are going to be opening bronze packs because of that tweet and because of the potential uh, to make profit off of bronze packs. But a lot of SBCs, the only SBCs that most people are going to be able to do on the web app, um, which is not maybe a bad grind. It's just going to take a lot of time and it's a little risky to do are the foundations. Of course, you do the foundations one SBC. I've already done it. I've completed it. You have to do foundations one. This SBC, guys is so easy all you need is like a couple of bronze players it's a piece of cake you need no chemistry whatsoever you can do this sbc instantly from what you get from your starter squad pack whatever nation you pick you put players in here for that and it's easy and it's done and dusted but then if you look at foundations two or foundations three all the packs that are inside of here are untradeable, but premium bronze pack, premium silver pack, you're turning in uh, a couple of players into each of these squads. I think some of them are full squads of 11 players, but then other ones are like two. You turn in two players, one rare, and you get a premium bronze pack back. You, I think there's actually going to be, if you want to grind it out, you're going to be able to take your club that you just got with those little players in it. You're going to be able to go into foundations, do the Foundations 2 SBC, get all the packs back, open those, and do Foundations 3. And as you level up in these Foundations, as you get to Foundations 5, look at the packs that are in here. 
gold pack, gold pack, premium gold pack, and a gold pack. They're all untradeable, but it's going to give you gold cards that you may, along with a little bit of trading, might be able to start chipping away at a hybrid leagues or a league and nation hybrid or a hybrid nations SBC, which is the one that I'm doing right now. And then you get yourself tradable packs. And this is where it is a W, all right? The advanced SBCs this year, hybrid nations leagues, and League of Nation Hybrid are all tradable packs. Yesterday, my best two pack pulls came from the Around the World and the Elite Eight SBCs. I packed Conte and I packed Acuna from those SBCs. Now, I can't sell them. Uh, the only coins that I have are from opening my pre-order FIFA points and discarding players and doing a few trades here or there. Like, I'm trying to grind the market, but it's so hard to sell any cards right now just because nobody is buying. I've sold 11 cards. That's it. And I'm listing literally, like, everything. It's crazy. Uh, it's going to be very difficult today as well because not a lot of people are going to feel like it's worth grinding the market on the web app. A lot of people are going to be frustrated today. And I understand. Like, today... Today is definitely a frustrating day if you're trying to start the web app. Like, it is it is not good because nobody wanted to have this start to the web app today where, um, you know, we don't have packs, we don't have coins, and it's just, it just it's annoying, and it, and it really sucks, right? It really does suck. But you can also just take that flipped and say, flip that script and say, all right, I'm excited to grind this game. I'm going to try to grind it out a little bit today. And guys, like I said... I think that um, Foundations SBC grind is going to be one that a lot of people embark on today. And if we take a quick look at some of those SBCs, um, they do require chemistry. Some of them do, not all of them, but some of them do, uh, like later on down the line. So like for the Foundations 5 SBC, if you're going to grind all the way to that, you have to have one chemistry minimum per player, total chemistry six. For this one, you need like left backs and left mids. So like I would watch bronze and silver left mids and left backs. Later on, people are going to be trading with those. That's going to be a place where you can make coins. And if you're just going straight to the market to trade as well after you quick sell stuff, look at golds. Honestly, look at golds because that's what a lot of the content creators that are on the game right now are buying golds because they're doing the advanced SBCs. They're grinding through that sort of stuff. So maybe you're searching by a country, let's say like Portuguese, uh, I don't know, center backs. Let's go gold again, Portuguese center backs. And you see, okay, Portuguese center backs. All right, you know, there's actually some pretty cheap ones in here. And maybe you can get sales over 1,000 coins. Maybe this Tiago Jalo, you can get on bid for like 600. Or you can get a non-rare for 300. And then you're able to sell it for 1,000 coins. So that's going to be grindy, though. That's the problem. And that's what's going to really deter people from this web app period a lot. And I understand it. It's, it's going to be very grindy. And it's going to be kind of annoying. But that's kind of where EA is leaving us right now. Now, the only other question I have is... Are they going to allow us to put FC points on through the web app store today? Which I could see them doing. I think it's possible. It's never happened before. But the, with the way this game is starting right now, either they want the web app to feel super dead for today, tomorrow, and then Friday when everybody else gets on through the Ultimate Edition pre-order, then it all kicks off. Or they want to allow people to just spend money on FC points right now for the web app today. We'll have to see. That would change a lot of the market as well. That's why this market is like crazy. It's nothing at all like we thought it was going to be because of EA not giving us those welcome back packs. So that's what I would say, guys, is kind of like the web app grind today. If you're getting on the web app, I would say make sure you choose those big clubs for your starter um, kits and those badges. And then after that, uh, quick sell those. Maybe list them if you want to, and then do whatever you think is best for you with the coins and how much time you have and how much you want to grind as well. Because, yeah, that's just a tough one today with how EA is doing that. But it's still exciting because once we get on the game, and guys, I want to show you a few things from actually being on the game right now. It feels like crazy to actually being to be on the game. Guys, we found out about some crazy content. Like, Evolutions is nuts. Everybody that opens the pack today as well, though, found Founders Packs, this Founders Evolution is sick, and I want to show you guys a couple of tips and tricks to find really good cards to put into these evolutions because a couple of the helpful helpful websites have added some, and it's amazing. So we'll show you how to do that really quick. Now, the example is Timo Werner. You can take a striker that is max 85 physical, max 83 overall, and you can upgrade them twice, and it shows you in here how to do it as well. So like for Timo Werner, to get him from an 82 to 84, you got to win two squad battles matches with the evolution player in the game and then win four more after he gets upgraded the first time to get him to this 84 rated version of Timo. Like it, it's it's literally just a few games and it's insane. The welcome to the evolutions is okay. 
The best one, in my opinion, well, the best one is this 50,000 coin one, which is really crazy. If you go on to the FC Evolutions tab on foot.gg, it's up here at the top. It's called Evo Lab. Foot.gg, guys, I think has an incredible, incredible site with this stuff in here. It kind of outlines what you can do and the players you can put in with this and the certain upgrades that are eligible inside of it. And guys, this is sick. Look at this, bro. It shows you some of the best and top rated players as a part of it. Perisic, Becky with 90 pace. This Feller card is like 2,000 coins on the market. I just bought a couple of them because Madrid links, French, 91 pace on the base card. If you go all the way to the end, 95 pace and 88 dribble. I know she's three star, three star, which is not the best. But guys, this is absolutely nuts absolutely insane for the cards in here um that you can put into these evolutions and especially for a lot of them how easy it is to do now also don't sleep on this um golden glow as well it's one of the lower ones down here you put in a 64 rated bronze under these attributes and you end up with an 80 rated card so that's really cool as well again use foot.gg guys foot.gg this website looks great for this if you want to search up your own players um i think Honestly, FootWiz, I haven't messed around too much on Foot.gg for this, but FootWiz, if you type in a player's name, like Nunez, I packed Nunez yesterday. It was sick. He's one of the best evolutions for the Founders evolution, the one that we showed Timo Werner for. If you put Darwin in that evolution, he ends up being an 84 rated Darwin, 93 pace, 79 dribble, and he gets a four star weak foot boost. I'm very, very much considering doing that Darwin in my evolution. So the evolutions are 100% the biggest W from yesterday. Once you start them, of course, you see them over here in my evolutions. The car designs change. I haven't actually started one yet. Uh, there's even a center back one, one of those that was leaked, right? Remember the, um, I forget who Foot Sheriff's example was for a center back, but um, you know, you can go into here and obviously you can select a player to preview that's in your club that fits those requirements. That's really cool. And yeah, guys, I would just point your attention to foot.gg and foot whiz. I don't think foot bin's got anything for it right now. Um, if you click on like Alvarez is, uh, he can be upgraded via the evolution. It, their evolutions tab is locked. So I think they're working on it right now. They don't have anything, but, um, yeah, foot bin or sorry, foot.gg and foot whiz have insane, insane stuff. And the, where's the founders evolution. If I just search up Alvarez really quick, you can see like, Alvarez looks really cracked. Maybe I'll just do it over here. Yep. Julian. Julian Alvarez. He looks cracked on this evolution. Evolutions. Find an evolution task. He's got he's even got two of them that he could work for, but the founder's evolution is better. He'd have a five-star weak foot, 82 pace, 86 dribble, 84 shooting, 79 physical. What a card. What a card. He doesn't look as good as the welcome to evolution one. It's a smaller upgrade. So the founders evo is definitely good to do. Now, also as a part of this, really quickly, I want to throw in there um, some objective players. The season rewards, guys, are crazy as well. At level five, there's an 80 times 10 or an 84 times two. Uh, that's pretty nuts. Level 10 and 83 times 10 or an 84 times five. And guys, when we get into the players, Baltimore, 88 pace right wing from PSG and also French. Now the weak foot and the skill moves are not it, but maybe there's um, a found, like a, an evolution to come down the line. That's a pretty crazy card. This Wilms card looks okay. Um, Katioglu looks insane at level 20, even though he's got not a very good uh, links. Of course, he can play right back, left back and left mid. He's four star, four star, a great super sub. Dewsbury Hall, if you want a Leicester player, you've got Mateus Rice as a Brazilian center back at level 20 as well. Guys, these rewards look insane. And wait till we get all the way to the back. Of course, you've got Thomas, Illa Romendi, and Mace here. The level 25 looks kind of mid. Christian Teo at level 30 looks great. Sugawara is there. And Engin, Engin as well for Barca. Guys, level 40 though. Look at this Mateus Cunha card. My goodness. And look at this Kone card as well. Like This card looks absolutely mental. And then there's an 86 times three. So the season rewards look really good. Evolutions look really good. Foot champs rewards are now giving out more coins than ever. We're going to talk so much about the market in the coming videos, guys, because this is this is nuts. Um, this is really, really nuts for foot champs because they're giving out. Let me show you guys the rewards. Playoff rewards are solid um, for getting four wins. You get two rare gold packs. What is it again? Finals qualification. That's what I was trying to say. 
Rivals qualification, like to get the points to qualify, only 1250, which is a W. And then once you get into Champs Finals, which by the way, the first weekend league is not this weekend, but next weekend, it's like the earliest weekend league ever. If you get ranked seven in weekend league, you get two untradeable picks of 50K and a 100K pack tradable. If you get ranked six, you auto qualify for playoffs with 1250 points. You get an 85 plus tradable a 125 and a 50k pack and look at rank five which i know a lot of us get three untradeable player picks an 85 times two tradable pack a 125 and a 50k pack and also 30,000 coins with that insane insane now go up to like rank two let's say you're like really top tier player you get the three player picks you get an 85 times four tradable 86 times two tradable two ultimate packs and a hundred thousand, like guys, these rewards are nuts. There is going to be so many coins on this market in the first month or two in this game. The meta card prices are going to be insane. And it's like EA is basically saying, okay, guys, we're not giving you coins like right off the bat in this game, but with grindable rewards, with those weekly rewards and everything that is there, it's looking like it's going to be pretty easy to get coins this year through specifically playing weekend league alone, which is a huge W. Now, I know not everybody can play weekend league and it's not, you know, doable for everybody. But if you're able to get in those modes, like that's that's really, really crazy. Those rewards that they're there. So there's so much to learn still about this game. We have so much to look forward to. And if you want to see how I started my ultimate team yesterday with some of the pack pulls that I got, I opened all of my FIFA points or FC points from the ultimate edition pre-order. We're going to have a video go up on the second channel today. So if you want to check that out, make sure you check that out there. But again, today is web app day and it's exciting, right? You get to create your ultimate team. I will say, by the way, my ultimate team is in, like, obviously it was called the foot accountant, right? Um, I had to not use my club name. They reset my club name because they said it contained an offensive word or a censored word i think guys that foot is censored i haven't confirmed that yet um but it, it might be censored but then when you exit football ultimate team like that, that's foot man i don't know i think ea it's kind of crazy i'm gonna try to rename my club today and see if it lets me rename it as foot because it better um because that shouldn't be a censored acronym but that was kind of laughable and crazy and then also if you haven't seen the twitter um check the twitter because I did pack a card yesterday and I thought it was messy and um, it wasn't. Let's just say that I got baited on the first day of a freaking new game with the new pack animation that, by the way, is so easy to get baited by. I literally have no idea who I'm packing every single time I open it. And that's kind of exciting because it's right now we don't know like how to tell if it's a board or a walkout or anything like that. It's just like natural, just like what am I getting? So that surprise factor is kind of nice, but I'm going to continue guys streaming this game today. If you want to watch me play it live, we'll be trading. We'll be doing SBCs, trying to build my coins up, work in the market a bit, and then also trying to scout potential trading opportunities for you guys on the web app as well. Come through, link is down below in the description. So if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, subscribe if you're new. Best of luck starting the web app today. Let's have a great year of EAFC 24. See you in the stream today, guys. It's been Nathan Wood Account and catch you guys there. Peace out.